Can we get an SD? Oh, I'm hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Did you put in the back? I'm as fuck. Welcome back to another mukbang. Hello. Since this video got a hundred views, yeah. Oh, why does my face look like that? Cause I'm a demon. Uh. Uh. Anyways, <laughs> we're back. We're gonna call these mukbangs as Kuya, cause we're me and Pat were supposed to start a, a a podcast. We also have a special guest right behind me. It, it's Julius. Hey. Yeah, and he brought popcorn Ooh. chicken. All right, guys, today's challenge. Holy shit. It's 10,000 popcorn chicken. Are we going to be doing chicken for all these mukbangs? Protein. Last time we did all, like what, 200 chicken 200 nuggets? Chicken nuggets. Fuck. There's a lot of chicken. Yeah, we came to knockout. I got. I got. I got chicken and mac and cheese. I didn't get mac and cheese because yeah, I'm chicken. I'm lactose intolerant. I got the exact same thing. Yeah. We also have like ten other boxes. Give the forks and stuff. Don't mind if I back up a little bit, I so I could get head. I also set up a Google Forms where you can ask us questions. That shit will be in the, <clears throat> in the description. In the description. We have a few here already. We have sixteen. 16. Yeah. 16. Yay. 16 responses. We're going to try and get through all of them. I'm going to set it up so where you can pick a category and then we'll do specific categories for each episode. But this one, it's random. Oh my god. Julius, do you want to introduce yourself since you weren't here last time? Hello, my name's Julius. I am a professional Valorant gamer. Um, I, I won a VCT three times, so tens. That means it's he's really good. First response is from Jeffrey. Oh, you can also send in confessions if you want. His confession, I assume, is my dick got stuck in the toaster. <coughs> <laughs> it's hot, it's hot. It's really hot. <laughs> but it's nice. And I read that butter is supposed to help it get free. Hasn't worked, so I've had this thing attached to my crotch for the past week. Any advice on how to get it out or not, winky face? Well, Jeffrey, what you could do is plug in the toaster, go in a bathtub, and jump in and turn it on. That'll end everything. What's your advice? Uh, the toaster has like the little lever thing. Just keep slapping it until the spring hits your dick out. <laughs> There's also something you, called it, bread. That's what goes in the toaster, not your penis. You can make a penis sandwich. <laughs> Cock meat sandwich. Some, <laughs> <laughs> Harold and Kumar reference. Is it, is it, is it a foot long? Brother, this guy stinks! Next question is from Joe Mama. The question is, ever had an STD? <laughs> Alright, so my first seven. <laughs> no, I've never had an STD in my life. I've only had three, so. I haven't got That's a lie, I've never had any. I'm a virgin. Uh, uh, yeah, me too. Next question. Thanks, Joe. Next question is from Candice. Wow. The crazy. question is, what is Phineas's sister's name? Is it Judith? Ain't it like Ferb or something? That's the brother. I swear it's Baljeet, no? Alright, this one comes from RJ. He said, I'm going into high school in September. Any advice? Fuck bitches get money. No. Well, considering that it's November. What? <laughs> he asked that in August. Sorry, RJ. Any advice for high school? Hmm. Yo. Who gives a fuck about other people? Why? Because that shit's just going to get in your head. Like, honestly, just live your life. And then the people that will like that, that like truly like you for you will come and follow you. Yeah. So there's no need to force yourself to be someone else, cause other people are bitches, yo. And that's how the world works. So just don't be a bitch, and you'll like you'll go through high school blessed. Honestly, just surround yourself with good people. It makes it a lot more fun and a lot more, a lot easier. Also, Thanks. don't be a cringe fucker. Oh my god, yeah. Like just Facts. don't be. Don't try to stand out, but don't try to be a fucking loser. No Nike bag. No Nike tracksuit. No Gucci belt. Are an exception. Did I say perms already? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck no perm. perms. Just rock your natural hair, bro. It's fine. Um, my advice is to get involved, like whether it's on a sports team mm. or like a club, you'll easily make friends that way. That's how I did anyway. That's how I met Miguel. Yeah. Maybe you'll meet your husband there. Any other advices? Don't date in high school. Yeah. Don't date in high school. I mean, you can. 
Okay, but like, don't take it so seriously. Yes. Mm. You can date, just don't put like. I would say don't date, but you can fuck bitches. Obviously, don't cheat on nobody. That's just a dick move. Don't be a bitch. This one is from John Legend in all caps. Thanks for making my fried chicken. Whoa, that's fucking crazy. You got recognition from John Legend. Anyways. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Thanks, John. <laughs> Next question from Flynn. Question is, any near-death experiences? I've had three. I've had so many. I don't know if you consider about to crash the car near-death, because I've had at least 30 of those. <laughs> I've been in a good amount of those. As long as you're alive, I'm a great driver. Uh, I guess your most memorable one. My most memorable one. The other day. What? Jesus Christ. I was like waiting for a guy to go like straight. I was turning left. Mm -hmm. And I didn't. I thought he was turning right because he signaled to the right. But then he went back to the middle lane. So he kept going straight while I was turning left. So then he, he, he had to fucking stop before I turned left. Bruh. Like, what a fucking idiot. Yeah, I was like, yo, what the fuck, bro? At least signals or like fucking drive properly. What about you, Jules? You want to go in detail about yours? One time. At the Eaton Center, and on my way home, I got jumped. Okay, you said one. Wait, you said you almost, you got jumped? I got jumped. It <laughs> was. I count as near death because it felt like I was gonna fucking die. That's crazy, bro. I wish I could get jumped. I mean, not wish, but I mean, like, I want someone to try. My near death experience is I drowned, mm. and I was unconscious for like a good five minutes. Yeah, but I came back to life because I'm handsome. You gotta ask yourself, God just don't love you guys. Mm. Yeah. This guy's name is Daddy, and he asked how to pull a ting. Hey, yo! You asked the wrong people for it. I'm kidding. I get all the bitches. All right, my advice is don't approach them. And if you like them, ignore them. Dead ass. That last part is actually real for some reason. Girls like it when they're ignored. Cause they're used to like, oh my god, this guy's hitting me up and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta. No, what you have to do is you have to make an imprint on them and then leave them. What do you mean imprint? <laughs> you gotta <laughs> make an impression. Twilight. Like no, you have to make, you have to make an impression. <laughs> How would you approach <clears throat> me? I would just be like, no, I'd literally go walk up to you. I'd be like, what's your name? Right? Why are you asking my name, you creep? Shut the <laughs> up. <laughs> okay, in this fucking scenario, I'm gonna ask for your name. I'm gonna say hello. I'm like, hey, what, uh, what's, hey, what's up? What's your name? My name is Bakwisha. Okay, anyways, Bakwisha. <laughs> After I ask you now, I'm like, I'll just be like, okay, cool. And then I'll leave you. Really? Good. And then you'll be like, what the fuck? He just asked for my name and that's it. He didn't even tell me his. You're not even gonna offer to buy me a drink? Why the, the fuck would I do that? What a fucking loser. She could buy me a drink, the fuck, Bakwisha? Yeah, what the fuck? What about me? I wanna be treated like a princess. Well, tough fucking tits, you're a man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make any moves, bitches ain't shit. There you go. Facts. Literally, just talk to females as if you've known them for like years. Treat them like a friend. Yeah. Treat them like a friend. Treat them like a guy friend. Like a guy friend. Like be stupid as fuck around them. Like make the dumbest jokes. Like literally treat Maybe them like a Maybe don't slap them on the ass. Unless they're into that. It depends on the scenario. Yeah. Like I could tell you how to pull one off IG. I really be straight up with them. Okay, but the thing is, if it's off social media and shit, they have to find you attractive. Yeah. Or they're not gonna answer your shit. They're gonna think you're weird. Be attractive, like in general, like your facial shit, your like body, whatever. Or like be funny. Or like, have really uh, high confidence. Actually, no, don't do that. Or have a kid. very large bank account. Appeal to their uh, their aesthetic. Like for example, if you want a goth chick, be a goth guy. Be you funny, want... be funny. Girls be yourself. There you go, that's the real answer here. Unless yourself doesn't pull any bitches and be someone else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me personally, I don't like women chasing after women because I find them distracting. Me, They distract me from my real goal. Of being, being my best self. Yeah, dating men. Mm. That's just me though. Like if a girl comes up to me and she's like, oh, I want to date you. Like, I'm not going to say no. Unless she's ugly. <laughs> Yo, this guy's so shallow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, bro. We're going to go quick on this one. This guy's name is Massive PP. Any ideas on how to make my dick smaller? I've actually been told my dick is like the perfect size, so I can't help you. <laughs> 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 Why are you laughing? <laughs> That's what they say to guys with small penises. It's okay. What? Huh? What'd you say? That's what they say to guys with small it, penises. It, it don't matter. It's not the size of the boat. It's the motion of the ocean. If you can make her come, that's good. It works. If it works, it works. 
No. Wait, my dick is small? How to make your dick Yo. smaller? Don't get hard. Next question. <laughs> like women. What? Good. Uh, steroids. Yeah, steroids. That makes your make balls smaller. Small. Oh, oh, fuck. It'll help you get Make titties. your penis smaller? Squish it down, like push it in. <laughs> <laughs> like the ketchup bottle? Just <laughs> yeah, just like roll it up and fold it and put it behind your back. Anyways, this guy's Wear, name. Like a belt. This person's. Yeah. Squish it. All right, next question. <laughs> this person's name is Shy. I wonder what this question is gonna be. <laughs> I'm Shy. How? What? What can I do to get my crush to notice me? Yo, holla at them. What the fuck? <laughs> Literally walk up to them. You're like, yo, I like your ways, and punch them in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, okay, I, I'm not, actually I'm not the best person to ask for this because I never did anything with my crushes. I did. I just went up and talked to them. I even got friend zoned. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd say, yeah, just talk to them and hope for the best. Be friends first. If this crush doesn't notice you, there's still a million fish in the sea. Yeah. Billions. There's, there's billions, billions, of billions of fucking of people on this sea. planet, and they probably all don't like you. What is there for to lose? If they don't, if they say no, then it's a no. If they say yes, good. It's 50-50, literally. Yeah. That's basically it. All right, next question is from soon to be dad. Oh. Oh. Um, I'm gonna be a dad in six months. Any advice on how to raise a kid? That was Any August. advice on how to raise a kid? That was August. That's how many months ago? Six. I don't know. Four months now. Five months now. Okay. Oh, shit, this guy's gonna be a dad in one month. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. Hopefully they're born on my birthday. That'd be crazy. How to raise the kid? Uh, go to the milk store and never come back. <laughs> Yo, go for a pack of smokes and never. <laughs> how to raise a kid? Hey, like, yo, why are you asking three people who don't have children how to raise a kid? Don't fucking spoil them. Actually, yeah, I think that's a really good one. Get you give your child trauma, so then they strong. <laughs> they turn out to be a strong, independent person. Yeah, just don't make your child a bitch. Yeah. Accept your child for whatever they are, like whether they're like they identify as something else, like a. Yeah. Oh, thank God it stopped recording because what I was about to say was kind of fucked. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, no, he was basically going to say, don't be a helicopter parent. Yeah, that's what I was totally about to say. Because your kid's going to turn into a bitch, but anyways. That's not what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, no, it's part. facts though. Yeah. Like if you're babying your kid and like you help yeah. them with everything, like they're not going to be independent and be able to do stuff on their own. I've seen yeah. that so many times. My mom is a Karen. Love you, mom. All right, next question. This one is notice me, Poppy. What do guys look for in a girl? Ooh, me personality. I like big ass. <laughs> Are you guys tits guys or ass guys? I like face, to be honest. Yeah, face. Yeah. Cause I don't care what your body looks like. Cause if you <clears throat> like, if your booty isn't big, you can go to the gym, grow that shit. Literally. Cause your uh, oh, estrogen levels. Can you grab it. Just boost your estrogen levels for titties. And if you want to ask, work on it. You know, eat yeah. more, whatever. Face can, though, that's like, genetics. Yeah. That's like, if you're ugly, you ugly. If a child looks at you and says, you're ugly, that's how you know you're ugly. That's facts. Because they will not lie to you. Like I've had many children when I was back, like back in the day. I'm like, why am I acting like this fucking a while? Anyways, that was like, they're like, like, we're like, they literally told me I was fat. I'm like, shit, I'm fat. <clears throat> Got to lose weight. So that's what I did. Yeah. Let the little kids motivate you. Yeah, little kids dissing you will definitely motivate your ass. Do you want to be fucking bullied by a little child? Imagine doing them saying that to you and you don't punch them in the face. Yeah, like... That's spoiling a kid. Oh. Um, um it's... A, for me, it's... First, it's the looks. Yeah. And then once... After, when you start dating, then... Then it's personality. Then it's personality, because that's when I really get to know you. Because I'm not going to look at you and be like, I know your personality. You look, you're cool. Exactly. Looks is what gets you there. Exactly. Yes. Personality is what makes you stay. Oh, that's a good one. <clears throat> yeah. Or, you know. I think it means like personality traits, though. Personality traits? What Probably. I look for? Yeah. Somebody who's like family oriented. Yes. Yeah, if you have a good relationship with your parents, then like. I mean, if you have like issues with your dad, that's like good for me in short term. But <laughs> that's good for a short term relationship. Doesn't everyone have daddy issues? I... <laughs> <laughs> um, do you guys any, have any more advices? Um, personality traits. Be yourself. 
and if that doesn't attract people, change. <laughs> I mean, it's facts, though. I mean, if, you're, if your personality is like you're a complete bitch, then yeah, 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 change. yeah change exactly. that. That's what I mean. Like, if you're a really nice person, if people just fucking step on you. That's you, not a good actually, thing. Actually, no, you should probably change that, too. Yeah, if, if you're, you're a really nice, good person, you have to be that way. You have to, you, have to, you have to stand your ground as a confident, yet not cocky person. Don't let people walk all over you. Don't be a bitch. <laughs> Next question is from Evan, period. His question is, ever had a pregnancy scare? I'm not a female, so I can't get pregnant. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you, have, you both have? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like seven for me, fam. <laughs> <laughs> fuck are y'all? You know all. how my money goes. We're all bad people. Pregnancy test? No plan B. Oh, that's <laughs> right. that's I'm like, <laughs> I've never had a pregnancy. Protection. Protection I've never had a pregnancy right scare because I'm waiting till marriage. I don't use protection because use direct. Trojans. Just wear a football helmet while you're having sex. Just like don't have sex. Oh yeah, well, that's yeah, like me. You'll never have a pregnancy scare. You'll never have <laughs> But anyways, guys, that's the end of our first Ask Kuya. Thanks to Julius for coming along. I came for the food. <laughs> um, you finish the food. If you guys enjoyed, like, subscribe. We'll be back. We'll, sh we'll do this once a month, yeah, Pat? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We'll try, should we try and get a guest every time? I think we'll do it every other time we'll have a guest. Or every time we feel like a guest fits a topic, we'll invite them on, yeah? Sure. <laughs> Bye, like, and subscribe, bitch.